you guys welcome back to my channel so i have this wig from all of hair they did send me this to you know try out test out review mm, just show you guys you know so this is all the goodies that they gave me and this is the wig okay she is nice okay so they get, gave me some elastic bands some headbands lashes wig cap um and um uh uh, uh uh, a satin scar a satin uh bonnet as well and i love the color purple all right so anyway this is a uh frontal it has combs and adjustable straps uh the lace was not pre-plugged so i didn't have to go in and plug that um to make it look as real a little bit more realistic i am gonna go in and bleach the knots that's what you see me doing right now i had to bleach a lot so i'm i'm adding more bleach than i normally would normally do for one wig so yeah but i'm using quick glue and 30 volume developer i'm gonna mix it all together to get the consistency i want and then i'm gonna just go ahead and apply it on the lace So I am going to let this process for about 20 minutes. I am going to go look at it, check it, make sure that it is processing to my liking. Um, if it's not, I'm going to let it sit on a little bit longer. But if it is, I am going to go in and wash it off. Now, do not show me washing this unit. But, of course, I'm going to use purple shampoo to tone the knots. My favorite shampoo to use is Fonella No Yellow. Um, it's a very ultraviolet shampoo, which will tone your knots super fast. So you definitely got to be careful and watch it while you're toning it. Okay? Um, to wash this wig, I did use my Garnier Fructis and to condition it this is curly hair you always gonna have to condition it um i did use silicone mix that's my favorite product to use okay so just make sure that you use those products and you cannot go wrong so at this point i'm just gonna go in part the hair i am gonna do a middle part and then i am going to pull some baby hairs down and cut them and lay them so this wig can air dry
the mousse I like to use is Cantu. I know a lot of people don't like this mousse, but for my wigs, I love to use it because it's a perfect curl and wave mousse. And it, for me, it doesn't leave my wigs crunchy or anything. It leaves my wigs fluffy. So I don't know. Maybe you guys are getting a crunchiness because you're not literally using enough water. I literally saturate my wig in water and then I'll use the whip and then it doesn't do, it doesn't leave my wig crunchy okay so i am going to pin the hair up use my got to be free spray and i'm going to spray the hairline so everything can stay in place when i use my rapid strips and i'm going to wrap it down and i am also going to put that mousse on the shaft of the hair the rest of the hair just to make sure that all the curls are popping together and then i'm going to just go ahead and let it air dry and this is what she turned out to look like So here we are, we're just gonna do a quick, simple install. You guys see me install th thousands, hundreds of wigs, okay? So I'm just gonna adjust this on my head. Now this is not a big, a big head friendly wig, okay? This is definitely not. So I'm letting you know now, if you have a smaller head, this will be perfect for you. As you can see that the lace is very light, so I am gonna go in with my makeup and tint it back. And this is close to my skin tone, but I think it's a little bit too dark. I need to get find something that's a, a shade, like literally one shade lighter than this because I feel like always at the, my ending product, when I'm using spray, my lace oxidizes and it gets a little bit darker. So um, I need to find something else. But I'm going to take my Red by Kiss spray. I'm going to spray my hairline. I'm going to blow dry it on cool for a couple of seconds until it looks like it's getting tacky. And then I'm gonna lay my lace down and then continue to blow dry the lace down until it's completely dry. Once everything is completely dry, I am going to take my razor. I'm going to cut off the excessive lace. And then I'm going to take my spritz and my edge brush and lay some baby hairs. Now, I did not curl my baby hairs with my curler or with my flat iron. And I could literally tell a difference. I prefer to curl my baby hairs with a flat iron instead of just like plastering them like this because I feel like it does not give a lot of shape. And the flat iron curls gives a little bit more um, shape when it comes to the baby hairs. And then they're not really plastered. They're like... They're kind of fluffy and it's not a lot of product on them so they just look better but that's just me so I'm gonna take my hair put it up in a clip spray my hairline with the same uh, uh, red by kiss spray wrap it down and this is how my wig turned out after I used this spray So let's do some final touches. I'm gonna take my press and comb and I'm just gonna make sure that the top of my hair is neat. Now I wanted to re-wet this hair, but it was late, so I was like, mm, I don't wanna wet, I don't wanna have wet hair because I still have this wig on until today. And it's been like day three, so yeah. But I didn't want wet hair, so I was just like, okay. But I'm using a, a press and comb just to make sure that the front of the hairline is super neat. And that's basically it with you guys. Um, I will leave everything that I use down below in the description box. The details to this wig, if you are interested, she is soft and she is fluffy. And if you, now I wouldn't suggest straightening my hair, but if you was to straighten your hair, this hair would go all the way down to your booty. I'm 5'4", okay? But yeah, bye you guys. <laughs>